Hey, what's up guys? It's Madeline. Welcome to the vlog. Oh man, we're gonna have a heart to heart and I'm gonna get a little vulnerable with you guys right now. I was going last night before I went to bed and I was watching videos from about a year ago and I just felt like I acted so different and I was so much more open and comfortable. I now I'm on month two of Accutane because it was just getting way too much for me. It was just draining my confidence. The second thing that I think really just kind of made me a little more preserved on camera was I'm definitely going through a progression and I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, maybe in a separate video if you guys want to see that give this video a thumbs up but I want to talk about the progression cycle of a neuromuscular disease or the progression cycle that I go through so my progression cycle kind of plateaus and then drops and then plateaus and then drops so FA if you don't know is the neuromuscular disease that I have and um it's progressive, so it always gets worse. Um, and I was in the car with my mom, and we were going to CDS. And I just randomly said, you know, some days I'd just rather be paralyzed. And she looked at me, and she was like, why would you even say that? And I explained it to her. And when I explained it to her, she really understood. But when you're paralyzed, it's like, done. It's like, there's no progressing after that. There's no getting worse. It's like you accept it and you move on and you go through what you need to go through and then you're back to your new self, I guess. But with Hefe, it's always a balance of trying to find that new normal, I guess, because you're constantly grieving. You're constantly in a stage of grief. Grief? is exhausting on top of having a disease that robs you of your energy which is exhausting it's hard trying to find the balance of going through the plateau and then the fall and then the plateau and then the fall um and it's hard to explain to someone that doesn't have to go through that every day so i'm just so grateful this morning to have my fa family my family having people that walk the same path that you do and they have to go through the struggles that you go through is just and and knowing them it's like a connection that is unmatched my mom and i had a phone call this weekend with a girl that has i say who wanted to get involved in the community but didn't really know where to start so my mom and I had a phone call with her and her mom. We ended up staying on the phone for like two and a half hours because it was just an amazing conversation. We talked about God. We talked about the downfalls of the FA. We talked about the positives. We talked about the community. And I just really was trying to speak encouragement over her to get involved in the community in whatever way she could. Um, if you're out there and you're living with a neuromuscular disease or any kind of a disability and you feel alone, get involved. Get involved with other people that are going through what you're going through. God did not put us on this earth to live life by ourselves. He put us on this earth to be yoked with people who are like us. People who are positive, people who are going to steer you in the right direction are the people that he wants you to surround yourself with. Hey! Oh my gosh, guys, look at her. She's so adorable. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh my goodness, she's so happy. What were you doing downstairs? <coughs> hey, come back. All right, guys, I will see you at the cardiologist.
check her cardiac biomarkers. We'll get those results, but she has not been symptomatic with any type of cardiac issues, even though she's not feeling well again with like a viral throat and upper respiratory infection that she has right now. But I'm telling you, my brother, he is thebomb.com. Yes. He's a physical therapist and he does a lot of um, dry needling, cupping, and um, manipulation. And he told me that when we went down there, he said, I'm telling you, I can heal her vagal, vasovagal syncope. I can help her, possibly cure her. So he, um, we went for New Year's that week and he treated her and dry needled her face, her chest, her neck, some of her back, anywhere that innervates the vagus nerve. And she said she felt like it was a veil that lifted. So we told the cardiologist this and he said, well, that's amazing. He does want us to fill the prescription for Midran to have that in case her blood pressure does drop low. He's glad she has the loop monitor in. Which Midran, Midran raises, is, raises your blood, blood pressure. pressure. Yeah. Um, and you can take it as needed to raise but blood pressure. But it will be just like a backup. It's just a PRN medication. Um, they would given it to us and told us not to fill it until the tilt table test, so I never filled it. But he said he'd like us to have it in our back pocket in case she becomes symptomatic. So other than that, God bless you. Okay, straighten out the camera. Okay. Other than that, she was good to go. Um, they cleared her for her exercise, her cardiopulmonary exercise test, stress test that she'll be doing in Florida next week. That's and I'll be vlogging. And we're waiting for our appointment to go for um, Retrotope or whatever that one is in Tampa. So uh -huh. we are praising the Lord. Yes. Like I could cry. Thank I'm you so for glad. all of your prayers and good vibes and thoughts and texts and everything that you are sending me away during this whole because we did feel them and the Lord heard them and he has allowed everyone involved with her to help her get better so her what she thought would be her new normal is not she is back to her old self maybe a little bit more tired but she's on the bend and we're very very excited about that okay so that was a quick rundown of exactly what the doctor said. Um, I need to hurry because my battery's blinking. This stuff I've been using, the dermatologist actually gave me a couple of samples and then I ended up finding it in like a chapstick, but it's the Dr. Dan's Cordy Balm, specifically formulated for chapped lips. Um, and it has hydrocortisone in it which is supposed to like be an anti-inflammatory and take away the pain which really really helps because the lips on Accutane are definitely rough so I just wanted to give you guys that tip or if you're looking for a really good chapstick I will say this one doesn't taste very good but it works and it gets the job done. Nola! Look at that, Nola! Nola! Oh my goodness, you were in your cage the whole day! You were in your cage the whole day! You know you have to go to the bed to get shot. You go and you go get shot, you know. Oh my gosh, do you see that dog? Do you see that dog? Did you that dog? my skin has been so dry and I've been using this Lime Life by Alcon Midnight Oil and I think it's just real oil I'm not sure maybe it's like vitamin E and another one 
But I think it's maybe Marilla.